Okay, so here we have our list of the 10 of the funniest English words which are fetched through this, as you can see right here. Here we have our array of collections. So first of all, we'll need to convert this into a simple array. I have made a tutorial specifically on how to do this, which I will link put a link to in the description. But basically you want to map out the the key zero and then get we'll get the first item. So right now we've got our first item which is everyone. Which is correct. Alright now we will get the random number. random number and how do we get that well we'll use the function random I'm just going to put two curly braces on each side and let's see what it does you can see that it gave us a random number from 0 to 1 so I'm just going to floor this number which will give us either a zero or a one. But we have 10 items. So we have to do some multiplication. So I'll have multiplication and the uh, array length, which is here. And that will give us a number. Let's say 10. Oh, that will give us an error. All right, I didn't use the operator. So to fix this, I'm just going to put two opening curly braces and two closing curly braces, or you can just click the operator um, in here. So okay, let's run this. And so here we have our number seven. Now we just to we just need to plug in this number into the get function. So I'll remove the one, put in the random number, click OK, format, let's roll. And we have bumper shoot, which is sixth. Let's try again. Tether, perfect. Now it's working. Um, what if we want to limit this random selection by a minimal and a maximum number? So for that, let's search on Integromat random because they have provided us with a wonderful equation that we can use. So I will just copy this and put it inside here. Now, um, I want to put in the max to be 7 and the min to be 3. So let's just try that. So seven three three I'll put it okay let's run this and mail drop yeah, it's working once again obelsus no idea what that means but it works and so the last step to simplify this even further you can copy all of this and Put it here instead of the variable to store it all in one place and so this is our random item okay we can remove this and it's working so that's the tutorial guys remember to use for random and multiplication and I will link put a link to this equation below.